Jonas and Rob here and we're on our way to a pretty cool shoot. We're gonna tag sharks today. And in this video, I wanna show you how to spice up your video by adding B-roll. Oh, we're hooked up. We are trying to figure out how much energy these animals use in the wild by attaching acceleration data logger tags. So what is B-roll? Well, you could explain it like this. In the old days of film, the dialogue was always shot on the A film, and the B-roll was pickup footage to cover the visuals. One of the reasons why I think this is a really important topic is that it allows you to understand that we can let the visuals of the video do a lot of the talking instead of us having to say everything on camera. The main components I want to talk about here are how to compose the image, how to spice up the B-roll a little bit, and also how to make sure you get the right coverage for your film. So right now we're shooting a video on shark research and I just interviewed Nick. So these tags we put out yesterday store really fine scale data, but we actually have to recover the tags to get the data back. And we're heading out right now to listen for them using this radio antenna. And what we're trying to do now is shoot B-roll of all of the things that, that Nick was talking about before. These tags we put out yesterday we actually have to recover the tags. And we're heading out right now to listen for them radio antenna. Also, another thing I'm trying to do is get different angles of the same shots. I'm trying to get some close-ups, and I'm also trying to get wide shots to show the scenery. And by doing this, you will have a lot more to work with when you're editing up your piece uh, after you get back. Oh, look at all that mackerel. This is actually one of the really good B-roll shots that uh, I've been trying to get today. All the mackerel is jumping behind us. I'm finding this a little hard to focus right now. Another tip I have is that when you're out filming, don't be afraid to ask the person that you're filming to do something more than once. Because then you can shoot it once, wide for example, and then you can punch in and, and get the details when the person is showing uh, the same thing again. And this is obviously a really good thing to do if you are shooting alone. Uh, if you have a second camera person with you, uh, maybe you can communicate this beforehand and then have that person actually shoot some of the B-roll while you're doing the main camera. And here's an example of that from what we shot today. Uh, we were collecting tags that we put on uh, sharks yesterday and today we were out trying to find them in the water but we only had one tag to collect but we wanted to get it from multiple angles. So we first shot it from one angle and then we threw it back into the water and filmed it with another camera from a different angle and then we did that one third time and this third time actually Rob was in the water filming it from the water. So doing it this way, you're not actually cheating anything. You're just trying to tell a good story. And I think if you are a small crew, this is what you're gonna have to do to get all of the good shots that you need. There's no exact rule to how your clips should look. It's up to any filmmaker to get creative to give the video the feel and look they're after. Still, there are some basic ways to compose an image that many filmmakers and photographers use that will make the image more pleasing to the eye, so to speak. One of the first concepts of composition to understand is the rule of thirds. We use this a lot when we're shooting interviews, but we also use it when we're shooting B-roll. Imagine the screen divided up into a grid like this. Then these crosses here are the power points and where we aim to put our center of focus. It works both for close-ups and wider shots. As you get more advanced, you'll learn how to break this rule for more unique shots. But when you're learning, it's one of the best rules of composition to give you solid B-roll shots. And next is adding movement to your B-roll. A nice way to spice up your B-roll is to add some kind of movement, but there's a few things to think about, especially if you're shooting on small cameras like a GoPro or your phone, and that is to make the movement as steady as possible. These small cameras pick up the slightest jerk, so you gotta be really controlled when you do the movement so they, the image doesn't look shaky. There are of course a bunch of accessories like sliders or steady cams that will help you get steady moving shots. But here are a few tips on how to work without them. Definitely focus on being as steady as possible when you do your movement. Steady and controlled is the key. Plus, move slowly. Almost so slow that it's awkward. Almost feels like I'm doing Tai Chi or something here. And another tip is to use objects like railings or edges or even glass to do simple slides using your hand as the base. Works pretty good, don't you think? Another way is to make use of things that already move. Filming from a slowly moving car, using a skateboard or even an office chair. But if there's one accessory I recommend buying, it's a tripod or at least something that works like a tripod. 
like what I'm using right now, for example, is really great for small cameras like a GoPro. And the last thing I want to say is always try and shoot a little bit more than you think you're gonna need. Uh, I use a 10 second rule. So when I turn on the camera, I keep it rolling for a solid 10 seconds. And the good thing about this is that it's gonna give you a lot of good material to work with in post-production and it's definitely gonna help you, I think. We hope this is gonna help make your B-roll look really awesome. B-roll is something that really makes the video pop. We got it, shark. But before you go out and actually start shooting, remember to download the filmmaking guidelines on the Our Rock Projects website. Learn them, this is something you need to know before you go out and start shooting. Also remember that we have a whole lot of videos like this for you guys to, uh, to check out. And hope you like them, and yeah, check them out. And uh, yeah, is that it? Yeah. yeah, subscribe for more. Links down in the description. Yep, that's it. All right.